Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here at Millennial Investments. I want to give some updates on our top performing stock alerts. Um, looking for potential re-entries or closing out of these positions or at least scalping some of them uh, based on performance. So we'll move forward into looking at some of these. Um, to begin, we're going to first look at XTNT. We initially alerted on the stock back on January 5th um, when the stock was still at 129. As you can see, it's currently sitting at 404. Um, we're currently up about 208, 209% on the trade. And as you can see, we're currently showing a swing for a potential re-entry and what you would call a continuation, basically a continuation breakout to the upside. Uh, what we would look for is for this to retest those 445s and continue moving higher um, into the trade and potentially find some support above those levels. As you all know and been following, um, we are identifying our key levels here and basically uh, focus on how the stock price reacts to those levels. 445 being one of those levels moving forward. Um, the next trade I want to look at, I've been speaking about uh, in today's session, is MoGo. We reviewed it a little bit this morning, currently trading at 898. We initially alerted on stock when it was at 318. We actually did a re entry into the stock uh, back on Friday. February 26th when the stock was still at 811 and it's currently up 8.51%. Um, and we see this going back above 10, $11 easy um, with the online payment uh, platform that they have. Uh, like I told you guys before, um, we have uh, Google Pay now incorporated. We have Samsung Pay as well as Apple Pay along with them acquiring a Canadian based company to uh, basically allow um, or actually, they made an investment in Corn Square, Coin Square to allow for uh, Bitcoin um, purchases on their their platform, as far as buying Bitcoin and other cryptos uh, that are under the Bitcoin platform. So something to look into for sure moving forward. Um, our next stock is of course SNDL. Our, this stock is still performing for us very well. We made a position on it when it was at 52 cents, currently trading at 136. Um, still up about 167 on the initial alert. Looking for a, an additional re-entry for the stock to basically um, allow for investors that may have missed the opportunity to get back into the, the trade. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these um, so that we can actually focus on just the trade itself, the stock. Uh, looking forward to bounce here moving forward. Um, pretty soon it's just hovering around these 136 levels as most people know uh, but I think it's building a platform in order to uh, launch and take off uh, in the long run very strong and sound company a lot of people don't believe in it but I do uh, based on the fundamental analysis that I've done on it uh, the next stock we're gonna look at is EYPT um, we initially alerted on this stock back on December 15th when it was at 478 it's currently trading at 12 29 after hours but closed the day at 12 uh what is that 12 43 currently up 160 percent um looking for a re-entry i think i'm gonna alert on a re-entry for this so stay in stay tuned all of you millennial investors all of our mem members for a potential re-entry if you missed the initial run on it um one thing i want to point out with this stock is this key level around the 1283 currently seeing this as a buy zone um, last week everything performed terribly but this set up an opportunity to get back into the trade at a lower price point lower than those 1486s um, if it hits that 1286 we're looking at a potential 15 to 20 percent swing on the trade that you can get on uh, late uh, in the trade of course but still you know optimize some gains off of it um, the next trade we're going to look at is ASRT. Um, the stock is currently trading at uh, 93 cents. We initially alerted on it, actually 103 after hours. We initially alerted on the stock um, back in December on the 23rd when it was still at 38 cents, currently up 144%. Um, looking good and healthy on continuing to the upside and potentially retesting those 145s uh, ultimately, but we need to see this above the 113. Uh, great buy zone right here at the 106. I think I might do a re-entry trade into it with the profits that we took out. Um, this was one of our split and runs. All of these were actually split and runs where we made our initial investment position and then we cut 50% once we hit 100% and allowed the profits to continue running. Now we can bring back in those 50% and allocate it back into these funds once we see the swings coming in and play um, and then have strong stop losses to make sure we don't lose any of the initial profits while we're trying to acquire more profits off of that from the initial investments we pulled out. So great. Uh, Great opportunity to get into this trade if you weren't able to. Still under a dollar, I think it's still healthy, healthy enough to get back into. 
uh, moving forward is AIKI um, uh, Keto Pharma. Uh, looking great on the swing trade here as well. Looking to break above that 135. As you can see, it's sitting at 131. We initially alerted on it at 57 cents, up 136% currently, and um, set to move higher uh, based on this swing. So I will be doing another re entry alert on this based on that information. Um, and looking at the swing trade. So stay tuned on that going into tomorrow. Um, the next trade we're going to look at is f -Cell. I've been talking about a lot in the EV space and how, how well it's been performing. We actually re-alerted on this stock back on Friday and made a sizable position on it uh, moving forward to hold. Um, we're currently up 7.59 on our new position and ultimately up 114% um, on our initial trade alert back from November 25th. So what we did was here, same thing, split and run, where we took our profit, our initial investments and left the profits in and let them continue to run. Um, now we're allocating that initial investment back into the stock. We won't have the same buying power, unfortunately, but we can still make some money off of this to the upside as we start to swing for those 2094s, as well as going to the 2436. Um, next trade we're going to look at, and basically we're just gonna go over our top 10 performers right now to see where they're at um, and potentially find new uh, re-entries into them if you weren't able to jump into them, to them before. Uh, seeing some pullback on IFMK after it broke out to 424 back on <clears throat> 11 20 uh, 11 the 11th of february excuse me um having some issues breaking back above that 185 as you can see looks like it may be consolidating i'm going to go on my lower time frames just to see what the position is looks like it could be setting up for another breakout at least to the 213 and retest those levels if we're able to get above the 185 ultimately so keep an eye on that for sure uh, moving forward though go back to my four hour time frame we're going to be looking at sspk um, SSPK showing strong momentum to the upside as well. Some slight consolidation there. A little concerning with the EMAs going red, but I think it's actually propping up on the one hour pretty well as well. As you can see the swing on the MACD, uh, we see this crossover here sitting fairly even on the uh, RSI, giving it the upside opportunity. Uh, but saw some some problems getting above that 2424 level. We initially alerted on this when it was at 1230. So our initial trade is at still at 96% uh, positive. So we're still holding on to that and letting it run. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is eCore. We re-alerted on eCore on Friday after finding an, an additional position in it um, at uh, 226 on February 26th is when we alerted on it. That trade is currently up 27.43%, but as you can see, it broke out to 344. I'll do the math real quick. Um, 344 to 26 uh, actually put us at 57%. At the top end, we actually trimmed back about 25% uh, to capture some of those profits, and we're letting the trade still stay in, in place right now, although we are seeing some pullback, so it's kind of concerning. You could potentially see another re-entry if you missed our alert on Friday for this uh, moving forward, but ultimately, uh, it's still up 85% on our initial alert from December 8th when it was still sitting at 156. So doing pr pretty well there in that regard. We'll look at our, well, we'll go ahead and add our additional uh, next top 10. I guess you could say this will be our top 20 performers right now. Um, one of those being FOSL. I want to go ahead and kind of identify some potential re-entries for all of our trades because I know everybody was kind of hesitant to jump into some of these. But as you can see, we're seeing a nice setup right here on the four hour back to the upside to retest those 793s. And we could potentially see um, this go back to the $20 level, which will give you about 10 to 20% on the swing, which is our minimum goal on all of, all of our trade alerts anyways. Uh, this is a consumer discretionary retail stock, so um, it's doing fairly well. This is Fossil Watch, if you're not aware of the company. Um, still doing very well overall as a business, so it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty confident about that moving back up to those 20s. Um, another one we want to bring up to you is ANTE, AirNet Technology. Um, I believe we actually re-alerted on this stock. We didn't. Uh, we were looking at it. It's currently setting up pretty well, though, if you weren't able to uh, capture those gains off our initial alert from 254 on January 4th, back when it was uh, still in these lower price ranges, right about there. Um, we actually captured 64% off the tra trade, currently trading at uh, 418. But ultimately, when we initially uh, uh, updated this stock, we actually saw... Let me do the math real quick. Um, about, 
uh, give me a second. At the peak, it was at 768. We saw 202% off of that trade. We did a split and run here, and we scalped on the way down, um, and we were actually looking for a re-entry into this stock. So keep an eye on this one moving forward into tomorrow's trading session. As you can see, we're starting to prop up. I'll, I'll confirm that on the one hour. Um, you see the, the swing right here, our EMA swing. It, we're looking to get above that 438, and ultimately we think that'll launch it to 5 to $6 uh, moving forward. So uh, something to keep an eye on for sure. Uh, going back into our next trade was OTLK, Outlook uh, Therapeutics, excuse me. Um, currently sitting at 215, uh, looking pretty, pretty nice on the uh, rebound. We alerted, re-alerted on the stock on February 26th. At 211, it's currently sitting at 216, up 2.3%. But ultimately, we alerted on this on January 22nd um, when the stock was still at 132, uh, and it pushed up all the way to 426, ultimately giving us a, uh, let's see, 132, 223% uh, return. When it, when it hit those levels, we actually did the split and run there um, and scalped on the way down. Um, and allowed our profits to make us money. Uh, and now that we've pulled back to these levels, we're looking for the re-entry, which we initiated on Friday, as you can see. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, recapture some of those gains to the upside, ultimately looking forward to retest those 275s uh, for a potential 20 to 30% swing. Uh, going back into our list though, um, let's see what else do we have. We have Dare. Dare performed with us. This was one of our 200% gainers, I believe. I'll go ahead and get the math calculated over here. Um, we initially alerted on Dare back in uh, December 18th when the stock was still at 120, um, and it broke out to 385, and that gave us a 222% uh, gain on the trade. It's currently setting up for a re-entry that you can see here on the four hour, uh, propping up very well if you missed the initial trade. We're looking for this to go back to the 250s, uh, which will give you about, um, I wanna say about 25% on the trade. So keep an eye on this moving forward. Definitely a re-entry if you haven't, if you weren't able to make the initial run with this. Um, going back into our list, we're looking at SNCA. Same thing, all of these trades that we initially capitalized on very strong going into january um we're now able to find re-entries into these stocks as you can see this broke out to 219 we initially alerted on it on december 18th when it was at 93 cents um currently sitting at 147 still so we're still up 58 cents on uh, 58 percent on that initial trade but looking for a reset up and a re-entry into it um Currently, uh, this actually provided us, I'm sorry, I'll correct myself. This provided us with an 83% return on the trade. Um, and of course we scalped about 40% off of it. Now we're looking at putting that 40% allocation back into it. Uh, next trade is gonna be AVO. Um, AVO uh, Pharmaceuticals doing very well for us up 57% on our initial alert from December 21st when it was still at 543 looking for this to uh, consolidate a little bit. It's not showing the same type of setup we'd hope for as the other trades that we have. So it looks like we're trading for the most part sideways with strong resistance around this uh, 8952 level, currently trading at 850. So you got about a dollar in between that. Uh, I, I would have to go into my DD a little bit more to solidify and re-entry into the trade right now as far as a future outlook and a fundamental base outlook. So um, I wouldn't encourage necessarily jumping into this until we're able to do that. What I might do is uh, per request, if you would like me to look into this trade a little bit more or any of the other ones for that matter, as far as additional DD, individual videos on additional DD, fundamental analysis, along with the technical analysis, feel free to comment below and I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, but like I said, we're pretty happy with the returns we have about 57 percent uh, up about 37 percent above our average top line that we go over about 10 to 20 percent per trade. So doing pretty well. I'm going to let it ride, though, uh, as we move forward. Like I said, we're, we're scalping half of the percent gains that we get and, and letting them run from there. So uh, our next one is ADTX, uh, Addicts um, Therapeutics. We initially alerted on it at two. Uh, 210 on December 22nd. It actually hit uh, 525 at its peak. Oh, I'm sorry, 670 at its peak. Of course, we did our split and run here at 210. Um, that gave us 219% profit returns, and now we're looking at 
potentially reallocating into this trade as you can see on the four hour it's a pretty nice setup as well if you weren't able to capture gains from before um, so we might be alerting on this be sure to have your membership if you don't already in order to receive that update when we do initiate the trade as long as it meets the criteria moving forward um, the next few trades we have we have about three more uh, is DTIL uh, this actually did pretty well for us too um 1590 was its peak or actually above that around um 1701 we initially alerted on the stock when it was at 845 so we we're well over 100 um 845 101 percent definitely a re-entry position right here uh swing trade to the upside would give you about 20 to 30 percent as we retest those 2090 uh, 1590s excuse me um, and our next trade that we're going to uh, look at is ACHV. Um, initially alerted on it on December 14th when the stock was still at 776, currently sitting at 1154, 1155 areas, but actually broke out to the 16s as well um, and provided us with over 100%, 106% to be precise. Uh, we did our split and run here, still have 50% of our position in, um, and looking to reallocate that uh, initial investment back into it. Of course, we won't have the same buying power that we did before, but we can still make money on the swing here as it's building a strong head and shoulders. We're looking for that right side shoulder to catch the swing to the upside, about that 1346, um, and then getting out of the trade ultimately. Unless it continues to move higher above that, then we will scout those trades moving forward. Uh, the last one we're going to look at is ASM. It's currently still up 47% from our initial trade alert at 94 cents on December 16th. Um, and is currently at 139, but broke out to 334, ultimately giving us a 94, 255% return on the trade at the beginning of February. We were able to capture those gains. It pulled back very strongly. Uh, we went ahead and secured our profits, not looking at a uh, currently looking at a re-entry into the stock but it was potentially setting up for one as you can see i can scoot this over just a little bit uh give me a second uh if it will work for me it's not doing it but i can spread this out a little bit for us and we can look um you can see the setup here that it's trying to retest these uh, 164 levels, but having some issues getting above those levels, uh, which is ultimately why we waited to re-enter into the stock um, to see if it pulls back anymore off of that initial rejection or um, if it was going to swing back up to the upside. Otherwise, I just wanted to take some time out of the day to basically go over the top 10, 20 performers. It was initially the top 10, but I went ahead and did the top uh, 20. Um, if you have any positions in these trades, uh, feel free to let me know. If you're looking to make a position on it, feel free to let me know. Um, as I said, be sure to have your premium membership in order to receive the alerts as we push them out so you can be on top of the trade. A lot of these are already set to take off, so you can do it on your own. It's not about uh, necessarily having to follow our suggestions or receive our suggestions, rather, as we are not a financial advisor. We only provide you with the trade setups that we're following and allow you to, uh, you know, uh, basically disseminate that information on your own discretion but other than that i'm ultimately here to find the top opportunities for us all to gain the most bang for our buck if you want to say that um, and some of these trades are still open to gain opportunities on re-entries i wanted to bring that to everyone's attention with our follower base picking up now and and basically catching everybody up to the trades that we have open and making sure everybody is able to grab opportunities moving forward um, otherwise i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you made it here i truly appreciate you going through the video uh, and basically overlooking some of these entries that we uh, are potentially looking at that perform for us the best all the way back to november uh, end of november that is and going into march now i wanted to take the time to basically look for re-entries in those trades for you so you can basically uh, make some of those gains off the swings that are coming behind it um, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I truly appreciate you for taking your time out of your day to even watch this. And ultimately, I'm only here to help you make your own money. So like I said, any questions, any feedback is welcome. I don't care if it's criticism. Uh, add it in the comments below. You know, I'm not here for trolling. 
I'm not here to be trolled. So if that's your mission, you can, you know, skip to the next video. But other than that, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I hope you're making some positive gains with the information we're providing you and ultimately what you're learning from us. Uh, that's our goal is to grow together as a community, um, not just an individual. So thank you for taking the time out of your day. I hope you had a great day today with it being a green week for most people. Um, I hope you made some smart trades off the information we've provided you today in order to capitalize on that market swing that we were paying attention to all through next week and even the week before that as we saw the markets pulled back a lot of people were concerned that the markets were crashing but i kept alluding to that this could just be a correlation or a correction excuse me rather than a, a complete sellout so uh, we saw it swing back to the upside actually had some of the best gains uh in in this year uh on the s p i think the nasdaq did the same so uh, other than that though thank you for watching let me know if you uh have any questions please like and subscribe to the channel for future notifications and updates on our trade alerts or current positions that we have rather and then also the additional information we're providing you for your own growth otherwise have a great night look forward to talking to you tomorrow for coffee and stock sessions we hold at 7 a.m tomorrow um and other than that just be smart man make the best make the best investments you can and optimize your trades all right have a good night